How's it going guys? Tax HD here for my first NHL 16 Hockey Ball Team Player Review. As you guys can see, we're starting off big here with the two future faces of the NHL, McConnor McDavid and Jack Eichel. McDavid, guys, goes for just around 20k. Eichel goes for around 13k. One thing to note, though, because Eichel has November card out right now, usually his price for his gold card's a bit cheaper, somewhere around the 10k mark. Also, guys, these players are very similar. As you can see, they're both 6'2". Eichel's a bit heavier at 196 pounds. Eichel shoots right, McDavid shoots left, and they both have 925,000 salaries. So, uh, their similarities don't stop there. They're both 82 overall centers. McDavid's a playmaker. Eichel's a sniper. McDavid's got 84 skating, shooting, and hands with 78 checking and 79 defense. Eichel's 82 skating with 85 shooting, 83 hands, 79 checking, 82, and 80 defense. So, they're both very similar players. Uh, their prices really aren't too far off. Obviously, McDavid's worth about twice as much as Eichel, but that's more to do with the fact that it's hard to pull McDavid in a bronze pack than it is to pull Eichel in a gold pack. I think um, as time goes on, their, their price will probably come closer together. But for right now, McDavid is uh, twice as much as Eichel. For this review, guys, we'll be playing five games with each player. Five games with McDavid, five games with Eichel, trying to figure out um, are these players worth their price? And if so, which one's better? So as you guys can see, before we start here, McDavid has 75 face-offs. There's something I wanted to add as they're both centers that is important. McDavid, guys, and Eichel will both be playing on my first line there between Team Patrietti and Jakob Voracek. So they both have very good wingers. No excuses there. They'll also be playing on the first power play unit and the first penalty kill unit. And they'll be the extra attackers. So they'll have more than enough ice time. Uh, definitely can't say, like, you know, they weren't on the ice enough to perform. And we'll take a look, obviously, after the five games to see, you know, how well they did. So going to the McDavid highlights now, you guys are going to see he's a very good playmaker, like I said. Uh, his passing is very good. He's always, you know, able to set people up. One thing I noticed was that he was pretty weak. Like, he got pushed around a lot. Uh, Eichel wasn't really the case. Right there, you can see him win a uh, face off to uh, Bufflin there, who just puts one in the back of the net. Even though he won a face off there. His face-offs were not that great. That says 75 face-offs. It honestly felt like 60, maybe worse than that. Like, I think I'm usually, like, around the 50 to 60% in the face-offs. And with McDavid, he was, like, a 25 to 50. Usually less than 50. Like, I think he had one game where he was a 50% in the face-off circle. So I don't know why he was so bad. Maybe it's because he's a bronze card going up against gold and that has something to do with it. I honestly don't know, but his face-offs were not that good. What was good is the fact that even though it says 84 skating on his hut card, he was a very fast player. He was very good playmaking, you know, setting up plays. He didn't actually score a goal in any of the five games I had with him. He had some shots on net, but wasn't able to find the back of the net. But obviously, McDavid, you're looking for a playmaker who's fast, and that's what he was. Now, guys, moving on to Eichel. Like I said, he will also be playing on the exact same lines as McDavid, so, you know, there's no uh, discrepancy there. He's going to get enough ice time to try and perform. Eichel's a sniper, though, so it's going to give us a bit of a uh, different feel, I guess, with the two winger he's playing with. And as you guys can see, Eichel has 77 face-offs, so his face-offs are a bit better than McDavid's. Also, you guys look at his physical stats, he's a bit stronger than McDavid, and that obviously uh, did have a factor, as when I played with Eichel, I didn't feel like he was as weak as McDavid. I think also McDavid being a bronze card, I think, has a big, you know, a big deal to do with it. Bronze cards, generally in hot, are just weaker, they get pushed off the puck more, Eichel being gold really wasn't the case. But obviously, guys, um, Eichel's a really good player. Um, him being 82 overall and only having 82 skating, I thought would be a huge, like, you know, basically, like, down downpour on me. Really hard to play with him. But as you can see right there, he's got wheels. He is actually a really fast uh, skater. If you guys look at, like, his uh, stats in-game outside of Hut, he's got 87 speed. McDavid's got 88 speed. So McDavid's actually only got one speed uh, one rate, one speed rating higher, and it really showed. Like they're both very fast players, even though you wouldn't expect it if you just looked at their hut card. Uh, I don't think I'd actually give the edge to McDavid, even though uh, he's got a bit better speed in terms of stats. They're actually very similar in terms of uh, speed. Eichel's a bit stronger, like I already said. Eichel also is a bit more of a sniper. You guys can see huge tangle pass of defense in there, gets it on goal, puts in the pack the net. Really nice move there. This guy actually quit after that uh, goal with Eichel, and that was the last goal I got with him as I was in the fifth and final game. So. I think at the end of the day, uh, McDavid played how I expected him to be. Uh, he was like a playmaking center. You know, he set up people. He didn't really take too many shots on net. Eichel, however, was stronger on the puck. I could actually get shots off with him. I was able to score more with him. His passes weren't as good as McDavid's, though. And, you know, that was basically the only real differences between them. Like I said, they're both very similar in terms of speed. Where you guys can see, I'm looking at the stats now. One thing I wanted to note, and I hope you guys noticed, almost no, none of my players are point per game, yet somehow both Jack Eichel and Conor McDavid managed to be a point per game or better for me. As you guys can see, Jack Eichel had three goals, two assists for five points in five games with a plus minus of zero, and McDavid had zero goals and six assists for six points with a plus minus of six in five games. So both players excelled more than I have ever expected. Uh, obviously, they're getting first line, uh, first line time, so that could be a reason for it. But I expected both players to actually like burden me and me have to like try to make it up. But they're both able to fill into that center spot fine. 
Obviously, Eichel there, a bit more of a goal scorer, only has a plus minus of zero, so I'm not sure if you can read too much into that. McDavid has a plus minus of plus six, so I think maybe just Eichel's, uh, maybe, I don't know, maybe has less endurance, McDavid is able to get back uh, better on the back check. But I mean, like I said, guys, both players exceeded my expectations. I thought they were both really overpriced and they were just going to basically make my team worse. As it turns out, they potentially might have made my team better. I found they both played very well. Um, is Are they worth the 20k and 10k uh, price takes respectively? I don't think so. I think if you were to get like a really good um, value center, say like Nugent Hopkins, who only costs like 1200 I think he'd do the trick just as, just as good. But considering the fact that you are paying for their name, McDavid and Eichel are huge names. I don't think the price is too outrageous for how good they actually played for me. If you only were able to buy one of them, would you want McDavid? Would you want Eichel? Like I already said, the skating is very similar. Eichel's got the better shot. Um, McDavid's got the better passing. Um, Eichel's a bit stronger on the puck, so he's got like the, the better checking stat. And then McDavid's a bit better defensively. So, I mean, it's really a toss-up there in terms of, like, you know, if you look at, like, they each have a skating point. Um... Eichel's got the, the shot and the checking, McDavid's got the hands and the defense, so it ends up coming down to the price, and right now Eichel's worth half as much as McDavid, so really, I gotta give it to Eichel, He's half, he costs half as much as McDavid, if you can only afford one, I think I'd go with Jack Eichel, but like I said, they both played a lot better than I expected them to, which I was really uh, fortunate yeah, to see, like I didn't think that was gonna be the case at all, so um, that's it for this play review, I think I'm rambling out at the end here, so basically in conclusion guys, uh, if you wanna try them out, it's actually not going to be that bad. They're actually both pretty solid players, uh, which surprised me a lot. So let me know if you guys want to see more of these player reviews in the future. If you guys enjoyed this one, make sure you leave that thumbs up. Thank you for watching, guys. Have a nice day. Goodbye.